Welcome back. A peacock has found a <laughs> home in Garden City, but not everybody is thrilled to welcome it into the neighborhood. Uh, neighbors have named him Rodney, and his presence has really divided the community about whether he should be allowed to say, stay. We sent Tim Pamplin to Garden City with the night cam to get an up-close look at what the fuss is all about. There's no question the Indian peacock is quite a magnificent creature. And this wild one has decided to call this Garden City neighborhood home. He just wanders around. He's on my porch at night to sleep. Then he goes next door later. By and large, the neighborhood has taken a liking to this peacock and the feeling is mutual. They named him Rodney, so okay, fine. <laughs> Now, peacocks aren't native to North America, no. They came here about 100 years ago when wealthy aristocrats bought them in from India. Well, because they could. And now there are pockets of them all over North America. He's right there! Five-year-old Maverick here loves Rodney. Comes and checks up on him most evenings. He tells me he knows to keep a safe distance, not to scare the animal. He and his father say it's fantastic to have wildlife in the suburbs. Look at his head! Oh my God, he's looking at us. We should just let him have his attention before he bits us. <laughs> That's Randy. He has a different take. Uh, Randy says he wonders how uh, the bird would taste smoked. Oh. I would like to, but I cannot do that. That is not what we do around here. <laughs> smoked peacock. Well, I never. But for Cliff, his concern is for the animal's safety. I'd like to see him go to either Greenfield Village or the zoo. It is a wild animal. I hate to see anything happen to him. Lot of debate. What do you do with Rodney? Do you just leave him out here, fend for himself? Or do you relocate him? Lot of discussion on our website. Head over to clickondetroit.com. Join in the conversation. That is the scene, a wild scene <laughs> in Garden City with a night camp, Tim Pamplin, a local four.